Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys we have episode number one of the Wolves career mode on FIFA 20. You guys requested it from the poll in the YouTube community tab on my channel. Uh, it was between Man City, Lille, uh, Frankfurt and Wolves. Uh, Wolves were clear favourites uh, behind uh, in front of City. So today we are starting off the Wolves career mode. If you are excited for this episode and this series to kick on, please leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the video and also some transfer suggestions as that is going to be the main thing for today's video. Uh, just scouting some players and adding players to the shortlist. Um, obviously we'll look at the budget and squads um, to see what players we need to improve on and how much money we're going to have to spend. Uh, and also subscribe if you're new around here, hit the bell notification so you never miss an upload. What we're going to do now is run through the manager creation. I mean normally... I um I don't I'm not too bothered about this one, but uh, we're gonna go with this guy, and we're gonna obviously just change it to what we normally do for our career modes. Now, obviously, we've just finished the Atletico Madrid career mode, and uh, it did end very well. Obviously, it was only one season uh, due to the fact that we did win the league and Champions League. I mean, I don't really care about the face. I'm gonna just change the hair, uh, and then just do the uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the actual outfit we have. I don't care about any of this, to be honest. Uh, right, what should we do? Hmm. I mean, they got like hats and stuff, but again, I don't really want to use. About. Oh my god, that's like a pro clubs player. Uh, let's just have a look. Ah, uh, there's not really that many. You know what? I'm gonna have the woolly hat on. Cause why not? Uh, shirt-wise, again, doesn't really matter, does it? Let's have a t-shirt on. Uh, outer, don't want that. Oh, actually, do you want a sweater on? Do you want that? Or would we want that? Let's go with that one. And then bottoms, again, don't really know. We'll just go with that. Oh, wow, yes, yeah, so we're definitely going with that. Uh, socks, you, could, don't, you can't even see the socks. Shoes, oh, okay. Got to go for the red runners, I think. Or do I go for the smart? And shoes. I mean, one. Let's just make it cool. There, that's what that's what we're going with. So, um, before, obviously, I was waiting for this um, update on uh, career mode because they've actually released the patch for it. Now, I do believe Wolves are actually in the qualifying rounds for this. Uh, is this the updated one? Uh, yeah, this is the updated one, which is good to see. So they've updated that as well. Uh, they've also updated like career mode in general, but that's good for us because obviously like transfers weren't created. Uh, what else wasn't done? I was like pl teams playing their weaker sides. Uh, it's just it, it was just a mess. So I didn't want to start the new career mode until that patch came out. Um, so we kind of like dragged out our Atletico Madrid career mode, and also obviously we got our Inter one, which will be running alongside this one. And then once the Inter's one, Inter one is done, we've got the Bradford City career mode, Road to Glory style, um, to start as well. So we'll have that alongside the Wolves one. And then we'll go from there in terms of other career modes. So we need to start a new save. Just going to get rid of all this. Um, obviously, this is just episode one for every career mode. is just the basics. Uh, obviously, it's just it's just basically to get the video out and get it up to you, uploaded to you guys so you can see um, what we're going to be doing in terms of trying to sign players because that's the main thing from you guys I need in the comments is transfer suggestions um, so what we're going to do is go for the one with the most money which is oh no it's the one at the end well wow. rip it was the one at the end I didn't realize anyway we've got some emails to look at uh, okay all of this I don't really uh, to be honest I don't really scout report what's this oh this is like players to sign okay I'm just going to leave that for now. Leave that. What we are going to do is... What's this Europa League thing? Oh yeah, so we are... Oh, we go into a group? Nah, surely not. Anyway, going to the squad. This is the team that is currently here. Now, do we want to play... Let me guys know in the comment section. Do we want to play a 5-3-2? Or do we want to mix up? I'm not too sure if I want to play this formation, to be honest. Uh, we could probably do with another centre back at that rate. Um because we got Wow, okay, Sy Siaz, Siaz. I mean he can oh no not more Gibbs White. He can come out. 
Moutinho, Neves, I'll probably Neves that side. Uh, you could get maybe a new right back, new centre back maybe. Uh, Jota, obviously, with Jimenez up top. We've got Catrone, Traore. Uh, let me guys know what positions or what players you would suggest for me to sign. Having a look at the team, I don't know if I'm going to play... I'm, I'm going to do it now, in fact. I don't think I'm going to play five at the back. I kind of want to play four... Uh, I kind of want to play two up front. Kind of like this formation, maybe. If I go back to the squad now. So we've got Johnny. Hello, Bolly. Got a T. Cody. I mean, he's probably going to be the one that comes out of the side. Uh, if we put in Gibbs White there. Uh, put Dendonka there. So have the team kind of like that. So that will be the team for now. Positions, maybe a right back, left back, maybe another centre mid or a cam, or maybe possibly a striker. Let me guys know in the comment section below what you guys think. I'm just going to rotate that and bring in another player off the reserves who's more of a midfielder slash attacker, but we don't really have many good options there. I'm going to put that Neto there um, because, yeah, he's the only kind of centre forward slash centre mid we have. Uh, what we're going to do is save this. This is all just going to be, I think, one just live section or segment of the uh, video. I don't think I'm, I'm going to have a little look at the squad hub in terms of players to sell. Uh, let me just do that. So, most of these players that we're going to scroll through, I'm going to be keeping. Again, I don't really see myself selling many players. Yeah, I, I, I probably won't unless I get some decent offers. What I'll do. I will let you guys decide what positions we need to upgrade on. I think a cam. Let me just check how much money I've actually got, to be fair. 63 million, which is actually pretty good. Uh, we might be able to get some more money if we do manage to do well in this preseason tournament. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate through the whole tournament. Joao Martino wants to speak to me. Okay, let me have a little chat with you. We've got work to do. It's ba basically, it's just those starter emails you get from one of the players or the captain of the club I'm pretty sure it's the captain uh, to introduce me 2-1 uh, win, Jota getting 2 goals I'm surprised they didn't update that um, simulation how it just sit, skips the game straight away instead of um, kind of giving you the option to look at through, look at us there oh my god we look so stupid with a woolly hat on anyway, next game uh, Montpellier in the preseason tournament oh we lost 1-0 and Johnny got injured that's not good to see I'm just going to advance again. That's the only problem with simulating some games. You always end up getting uh, that. Anyway, I don't think it was a bad injury. So we move on against Stad Rene. Win 2-0. Neves getting a red card. Jota and Doherty getting the goals for us. Sporting in the semi-finals. Tough opponent to be fair. Uh, sporting at Lisbon. What we're going to do is simulate again. Uh, just for this game. I think it... Who was it? Neves... I think it was. I don't know who Watt is. Number 72 that's coming for us. And we lost 2-1, unfortunately, in the semi-final to Sporting. So, uh, what prize money did we end up getting just for that? Okay, 2.7 million is not too bad. Uh, player suspended, I know. And Johnny was only out for two days. Um, so now, it's realistically, it's just aiming to get some new players in. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave that up to you guys. I want you guys to suggest some players... Uh, let's see who we do have for the start of the season. Uh, we have a long break here. We have Leicester United, Burnley for September. And then, wow, in um, for August, sorry, September is Everton, Chelsea, Braga in the Europa League and Palace and Watford. So that will be a pretty um, busy month. But anyway, position-wise, I'm going to go ahead myself and just go and scout some players in some certain positions. I'll be back to show you the shortlist. We're not going to make any signings today, uh, but I will just add some of my own players. But I, like I said, I won't sign anyone until we have um, people in the comments section talking about who they want to sign or players that I should try and sign. Uh, and then I'll probably decide off based off the comments and the likes on the comments and stuff like that. Anyway, I'll move on into my shortlist in a second once I do put some players on. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, we are back and we have made some, not inquiries, but we've added some players to the shortlist. We're going to order it from defence to attack. So we're going to go to the top. Um, we, we basically um, look at right backs, left backs, centre mids, cams and some strikers. Um, uh, Malkut, or Malkut uh, from Napoli, he's 28. 
Uh, again, we haven't um, actually fully scoured him yet, uh, but he does look like a cheap option, which could be useful as he is a right back slash right mid. The Sigler there as well, uh, he can play left back or right back, so again, I mean, that, that could be a good option for us. He's only 26. Uh, ben Chill, as I can just see, has moved to um, Crystal Palace, so we're going to remove him, uh, Hakimi. Um, his player is currently on loan. Oh wow! So he's gone on loan to Real Madrid, which is a bit random. Um, Rodriguez, you can play left back or centre back, which is really good, and he looks quite cheap as well. So I am really tempted by him. Zielinski is another one, uh, centre mid, a bit pricey maybe, uh, but I've got him there. De Hood, another one who can play CDM or centre mid, which would be good for us, and he looks fairly cheap as well. Sissoko, obviously he's very very OP on FIFA this year. Does look like a, quite a cheap option, but he is 29, so I'm not too sure. Uh, McKenney from Schalke, he's got a 20 million pound release clause, so we could potentially go for him. Um, I'm just waiting to see his scout report and stuff like that. Madison, obviously he'll be quite expensive because he obviously is a good player uh, in real life at the moment and obviously in FIFA, so uh, probably going to be a bit pricey, even though it does say between 23 and 34. Uh, Paqueta, I don't know how to pronounce this one properly. Oh, he's only just joined. Ah, oh, that's kind of annoying. I'm going to remove him. And the last player on the list was a striker, uh, Lasagna, from Udinese. Again, he looks like a cheap option, but we haven't got a scout report back from him. Uh, so we don't really know what he's going to be all about. So I think that is going to be the end of the episode, guys, because I don't really want to start the Premier League season without making any signings yet. And I want to wait for your input uh, to see if you agree with any of these players on the list. And obviously, if your own players... Um, for like suggestions so what we've got anyway before we do go is like the um, global network so I've gone for a striker central midfielder left back right back attacking midfielder and any position first team quality promising like youth players so I've only got it to like set to 16 to 20 years old uh, in case we can pick up some cheap beasts or some cheap youngsters for the squad so uh, the team is the same Obviously, we haven't signed anyone, so we haven't made any more changes um, as of yet. But like I said, this is going to be the end of the episode. Please, please, please leave me your transfer suggestions in the comments so then we can actually kickstart the career mode by signing some players and getting into it. So, without um, any more ranting on about that, this is the end of the episode. If you did enjoy or you're excited for this start of this career mode, please leave a like. Uh, like I said, comment your thoughts and opinions and player suggestions in the comment section below. And subscribe if you're new around here. Make sure to hit that bell notification. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.